I'm here for it. All right, so is everybody familiar with stringed instruments? Right. Do you anybody know anybody that plays or maybe even does it themselves? Yeah. All right, do you guys um, ever change your strings or do any personal maintenance on, on your own? All right, well, that's the purpose for this, just to help you understand maybe you could do something on your own, save yourself a trip to Guitar Center, and save your own money, too. So changing your strings. All right, so first you're going to want to start with unwinding your strings. Right there, these are the tuning keys. You want to turn them left or right. Um, for some reason on my bass, it's left. It should be right. I'm not sure why, but it is. And once you take, once they're unwinded, you're gonna to wanna to pop them out and pull them through either the bridge or the body of the guitar, depending on where they're going in. And these are a couple of different types of strings you can use. Um, you can tell these, these are round one strings, they're more so for a brighter, a lot more rock style. Then you have your half rounds, more warmer sound and, you know, yeah, warmer tones. Feels smoother, feels good actually. And you have flat rounds, which you don't hear absolutely none of the beginning noise, just if I could ex describe it right. Um, um, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I can't explain it very well. Um, if you play a fretless bass, preferably you would want to go with flat round just because it is amazing. And these are just a couple of different brands. Um, you got your Swing Bass 66. Um, in an interview, um, Gady Leaf from Rush actually prefers Swing Bass 66 round one strings because of the brightness and the style of music they use, which really calls for that brightness. And it's pretty intense with the music. And you have the Dario, the nickel one string. Still not too sure about what makes them nickel. So, yeah. And you have elixir. They're supposed to say they last for three years, but I would still prefer changing them every three months just because your fingers do get dirty and dirt does come off the strings themselves and they will mess up the neck as well. Grind, they get dirty. What can you do? They have any ball. I'd say there are a lot of metalheads use them. And they're not bad. I've used them before, but they did. It did wear out pretty quick on me. So I kind of like to follow up with Getty Lee, and I do prefer the Swing Bay 66 because of the bright tone that I like. And they last me a good while, too. And no strings attached, pun intended. So if you do, you could change the strings one by one or take them all off and do some maintenance on your own. Um, I actually asked a friend of mine who actually got his certificate as being a luthier. In, at MI Music Institution, I forgot what else it was, but and so he prefers using Dunlop to clean up and polish the neck, and really brings out the color and also oil for the neck because the neck does dry up and it will wear out over time, and you do not want it to crack because if you crack, yeah, the neck's gone. What are you gonna do? Um, you know, you look at it too long, it's like. You don't want it to crack. 